Number 5. This is 1973 S. Eisenhower dollar double struck on a clad half dollar planchet. Graded as PR65 cameo by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a planchet intended for a proof Kennedy half found its way between proof Ike dollar dies. Struck aligned with the collar die at 7 o'clock, with reading present between 5 and 9 o'clock on the obverse, and from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock on the reverse. As usual for proofs, the coin was struck twice, but since most of the coin was unrestrained by a collar die, the coin expanded during the first strike. Portions of the design from the first strike were not effaced by the second strike, including the top of Ike's head and the lower portion of the right, facing, wing. Ghostly letters from E Pluribus Unum appear beneath that legend. It was sold for $7,200. Number 4. This is 1972 S. Kennedy half dollar double struck on a 5 cent planchet. Graded as PR 66 cameo condition by NGC. The first strike was widely off center toward 10 o'clock and aligned with the collar die near 4 o'clock. The second strike was moderately off center toward 4 o'clock and aligned with collar die near 10 o'clock. From the second strike, the top two thirds of the date is present, and the mint mark is bold. From the first strike, God, Kennedy's profile, and the eagle's tail are evident. A ghostly we trust from the first strike lingers on Kennedy's neck from the second strike. It was sold for $9,000. Number 3. This is 1974 S. Lincoln sent with obverse die break and retained piece of a die on reverse. Graded in mint state 63 red and brown by NGC. Not only does it feature a heavy rim cut on the obverse, but the piece of the die that broke off is actually struck into the reverse of this coin. The obverse cut runs from 9 to 11 o'clock and intrudes into the field by about 3 millimeters. Meanwhile, on the reverse, the exact piece of the steel die that broke off lies embedded in the coin above the Lincoln Memorial, with part of E Pluribus Unum faintly struck into it. This was the very first planchet fed into the press following the fracturing of the obverse die. It ended up selling for $9,000. Number 2. This is 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC. Satiny luster is brilliant white and unabraded, yielding good definition of the central devices. The strike is well centered, although the small diameter dime planchet is not fully struck up at the borders, where in God we trust blends into the rim. It was sold for $11,400. Number 1. This is 2002 P. Indiana Quarter struck on a 10 cent planchet. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. A wrong planchet error on a briefly produced type. The Philadelphia Mint Mark is bold and complete, though close to the edge. The Indy Racecar and the Washington Bust are also complete. The date and E Pluribus Unum are off the flan as is most of United States of America. A hint of gold toning visits lustrous and unblemished surfaces. It was sold for $17,400. Thanks for watching this video. Your likes, comments are highly appreciated. And don't forget to hit subscribe button below this video. Bye.